I look at that wind as, as it's here, why aren't we using it? Why aren't we generating power with it? I felt really good. I thought, well, if there's a blackout, if the grid goes down, at least those turbines will be churning away, putting electricity into the grid. Next thing you know, we had a test tower up on the farm. I didn't know what the hell that was. Saw it outside of my kitchen window. Said to my wife, what's that? We didn't have a clue. The other reason we signed was the same reason everybody does. It was for money. Our town was agricultural. We've lost most of our farms. It's like asking some poor miner to negotiate a good deal with Bethlehem Steel. I guess I was naive. I never thought it would be so contentious an issue. What the wind companies and corporations have done over the years is the split. And people who've been friends for years hate each other, saying vile things about each other. Where are the developers? How come they're not here making presentations to us, telling us what they'll do for us? This town board does not want to ban it. And I think that's the message we were trying to get to you. We're not against alternate sources of energy. We're against these monstrosities. These are mechanical structures. They're 40 stories tall. One blade is seven tons. Spinning at 150 miles an hour. Try and think about that for a second. When they build these out in the desert, they're putting them up on tracks that are 6,000 acres. We don't have anything like that here. We have homes here. I think it's very subjective. Some people have looked at them and said they're beautiful. And uh, I think others say, well, we'll get used to them. This one across the road, 1,050 feet from where we live. And it sounds like the noise is in the rocks. How could you expect that when a program of this magnitude, which could be 75 million, 100 million dollars, that they're going to compassionately feel bad for me or for you? Uh, Five hundred dollars for a neighbor agreement to live next to these? That's an insult. It's a joke. But it was the idea that it was forever. It would be that way for the rest of my my life. Ask questions. Do your homework. Because once you let these guys in, your world is going to change forever, and there's not a thing that you're going to be able to do about it.